your culture, education, upbringing, beliefs, experiences, imagination, relationships, personality, and your values are some of the things that have not just eaten deep into your nature, but they have become your very nature. When was the last time you questioned any of these things? When was the last time you questioned how you think? Join me, Emmanuel Utomi, and my guests every Monday from 9 p.m. on PRZ 109.2 FM London on Perspectives. Because how you think powers your worldviews, actions, and your ultimate reality. So, come on. Let us explore alternative ways of looking at life's issues. Perspectives. What you already know should not stand in the way of what you could learn. A very good evening to you, my dear listeners, and you are welcome to the Prayer Rally Zone PRZ 109.2 FM. And this is Perspectives, the show that is designed to take you one step closer to a better life. And my name is Emmanuel Utomi. You are God bless you. Thank you for joining me. I declare that your steps are ordered by God as you go into this beautiful, beautiful week. God will show up for you in different ways, in different seasons, in the name of Jesus. You will rejoice this week. You will receive good news about your family, about your siblings, and about your friends in the name of Jesus. I say thank you once again. Thank you for taking our time this evening to share your evening with me. It is such a pleasure and an honor. I am so, so grateful. And for those listening to this broadcast, I'd like to say thank you also. I mean, they'll be listening to the recordings of this broadcast much more later. I'd like to say thank you very much. Well, 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 I'd like to um, let you know that this program is designed to encourage you to develop the habit of questioning your beliefs as well as to inspire you to, to develop a progressive and a solution based mindset you are welcome once again well last week we started on sharing from um, the book of second Kings 7 and we're gonna go that to that soon but we, the theme for last week and this week is really centered around taking you back to the point where we started with um, this year which is to get you to to revisit your goals if, if you've set them and also if you haven't to to get you to the point where you're able to set some goals for yourself this year because like we said last week it is better late than never you can still set goals and i remember last week i talked about the fact that you should try to look at your life from the various aspects that you can break it down into like I, I used I did use myself as as an example last week where I said I'm a husband I'm a father I'm a, a I'm, I'm a colleague I host a radio program I teach some students and that success in these various aspects of life would require for me to do different things and that is what I'm saying that you should do and that I also encourage that you write them and we we looked at a few tips actually we looked at three different things that you could do that would help with achieving those goals this year the first one well well before those f first three the first thing was to identify the goals in those areas and the first thing we talked about was that you should pray and seek god seek god's help seek divine opinion concerning the situations that you find yourself that regardless of what it is you're going through god has a desire god has a stake in your life and is willing to speak to give you directions we also said that the second world well, we also discussed the second idea as being that of divine help that regardless of ba how bad things are god is always poised to step in and offer you support that ideally divine help will kick in where human endeavor and human um, impute fails when you are when you run out of strength God is more than able, more than willing to come in, step in and offer you the support to lift you up with wings like eagles. 
that that's what that's the second idea we shared and the third idea we shared was that of asking the right questions and i remember sharing that even when you haven't heard anything from god even when there is no direct um, help from god you can still sit down and ask yourself specific questions about the situations you find yourself and we talked about asking the right type of questions we we did say that there are certain questions that you can ask that will not the answers of which will not make any difference i mean um i, I remember what my pastor would usually ask say make the statement when you find yourself in a situation and you say and you're saying why me if you got the answer to that question, why is this happening to me? What difference does it make? Well, well, for some people, it might make a difference. But, you know, there are certain questions that when you ask them and you get the answers to those questions, you are able to move forward much more intelligently, as I would say. So those are the three ideas that we shared last week about helping you move forward towards achieving your goals for this year. And this week, we're going to share a, a, a few more ideas and then we're, we're going to move forward from that. But before we share the ideas that we have for this week, let's go back to the story that we started out with. This is the book of Second Kings chapter 7 from verse 1 to 9. And it says, Elisha replied, Listen to this message from the Lord. This is what the Lord says. By this time tomorrow, in the markets of Samaria, six quarts of choice flour will cost only one piece of silver, and twelve quarts of barley grains will cost only one piece of silver. And verse 2 says, The officer assisting the king said to the man of God, That's couldn't happen even if the Lord opened the windows of heaven. But Elisha replied, you will see it happen with your own eyes, but you won't be able to eat any of it. And verse 3 says, now there were four men with leprosy sitting at the entrance of the city gates. Why should we sit here waiting to die? They asked each other. Uh, we will starve if we stay here. But with the famine in the city, we will starve if we go back there. So we might as well go out and surrender to the Aramean army. If they let us live, so much the better. But if they kill us, we would have died anyway. So, at twilight, they got out of the camp of the, the sorry, verse 5. So, at twilight, they set out for the camp of the Arameans. But when they came to the edge of the camp, no one was there. For the Lord had caused the Aramean army to hear the clatter of speeding chariots and the galloping of horses and the sound of a great army approaching. The king of Israel has hired the Hittites and the Egyptian armies to attack us, they cried to one another. Verse 7, So they panicked and ran into the night, abandoning their tents, horses, donkeys, and everything else as they fled for their lives. When the men with leprosy arrived at the edge of the camp, they went into one tent after another, eating and drinking wine, and they carried off silver and gold and clothing and hid it. Finally, they said to one another, This is not right. This is a day of good news, and we aren't sharing it with anyone. If we wait until morning, some calamity will certainly fall upon us. Come on, let's go back and tell the people at the palace so this was the story that we shared now the first idea i'm going to be sharing with us this week on how or about some of the things that we need to do to help us achieve our goal for this year would be that of doing proper analysis you know the bible says for we have not been given the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This is in the book of Timothy. 
we have not been given the spirit of fear, but we've been given the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. And I'd like to define that sound mind as an intellectual mind that works accurately. The Bible in some other translate in, in some other verse it talks about that we have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ, one of the characteristics of the mind of Christ is that of proper analysis. If you read Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, you will see Jesus doing accurate analysis concerning human situations and human circumstances. I remember in the book of, of, of Matthew where he was talking about after the Beatitudes, he now started questioning some of the laws that were given. I remember when Jesus talked about the law where it says an eye for an eye. And he talked about the fact that, look, if you do an eye for an eye, how are you different from an unbeliever? And this was Jesus engaging a sound mind. So as Christians, we should not only depend on prayer and pack our minds. No, we should depend on prayer, pray fast, sing praises to God, but at the same time, think. At the same time, ask questions. At the same time, do proper analysis. Use your brain. Think. Don't leave everything to God. Listen to me carefully. Whatever goal you have set for yourself this year, realize this. There's a part that you as an individual you need to play and there's a part that God as God will play. Do proper analysis. See, this is, this is, it, let me take you to verse 4. In verse 4, listen to what these four lepers did. Because it's an option. Let me take it from verse 3. Now, in verse 3, these four leprous men who were not at the venue where Elisha shared God's heart concerning their situation, they did something. Verse 3, they said, Now, there were four men with leprosy sitting at the entrance of the city gates. Why should we sit here waiting to die? They asked each other. So this was where their questions, this is where they started using their brain. Why, why should we sit down here? They were asking themselves some very searching questions. They weren't saying, we haven't prayed enough, we haven't fasted enough. They said, why should we sit down here and die? They were using their sound mind. Now in verse 4, they did an accurate analysis of where they found themselves. They said, we will starve if we stay here. That is, our goal is to survive. Our goal is to live. Our goal is to get food. But within the confines of the situation that we find ourselves, if we stay here, we will starve and we will die. But they didn't stop there. The next line says, But with the famine in the city, we will starve if we go back in there. Okay, so... The situation within which you find ourselves is not good. So what other option do we have? We can go into the city. They said, you know what? We've critically analyzed what is going on in this city. They are, in fact, their situation is very precarious. They are boiling their children to eat there. If we go in there, we will also starve and we will die. So, this is what they said. said so, we might as well go out and surrender to the Aramean army. If they let us live, so much the better. But if they kill us, we would have died anyway. Now watch this. They looked at the three possibilities open to them. All of those possibilities had the options of death. Two of those options, staying where they are, and going into the city would definitely lead to death. And that's it. Not, those two situations don't have anything else to offer. But the third situation, which also had the possibility of death, offered an extra option, which was the option of the possibility of being arrested by the Aramean army. But if they are arrested, they will be treated as prisoners of war they will be fed and kept alive. That was a dangerous option, 
but that was the only option that had the opportunity of life for them this was what these four lepers did now I cannot overemphasize the fact that this is them thinking the Bible says it is God that is at work within you both to will and to do of his good pleasure as a child of God the ideas that will flow through your mind most of them will be divinely inspired so you should trust yourself to think through to produce solutions to come about with opportunities options for the situations within which you find yourself look think do proper analysis try and ask people questions about that situation what can I do what should I do what are the various options open to me so as you go about achieving or wanting to achieve the goals you've set for yourself you will meet roadblocks you will come across challenges you come against challenges Th sit down take a step back ask people who have achieved those goals in the past ask them how they did them what are the principles that they engaged in this is not working that is not working but if I tried it this way what are the possibilities there are so many so many so many angles that you can engage in don't just give up at the first order and say well I tried this I prayed and I fasted got this answer so be it I'm oh, to your tent so Israel no 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 it doesn't work like that especially when you have not heard any divine instruction especially when you've prayed and fasted you've read the Bible no prophet is saying anything to you use your head think analyze and I guarantee you God will show up actually that may be exactly what God requires for you to do in that situation because that will be you building your spiritual module that will be you building your faith in God knowing that he can speak through you he can speak to you in within or giving using any means necessary okay so the first idea that I want you to imbibe today is that of doing proper analysis about the situations that you find yourself now the second idea I want to share with us today is that of intelligent action now in verse 5 in verse 5 of this verse of scripture that we read the Bible says after they done this analysis in verse 4 verse 5 look at what happened it says so at twilight they set out for the for the Aram sorry so so at twilight they set out for the camp of the Arameans they set out for the camp of the Arameans so they picked themselves up and moved you need to get to the point where it is enough talk now it's time for action no more talk no more analysis take action listen the best analysis is still not in comp the best analysis without action is not as good as taking action at least you can learn from your action if nothing else you learn not what not to do if you don't get the results that you want it is not enough for you to have these brilliant ideas and just sit back no take action do something these guys picked themselves up and decided to move now I'm not just talking about take action I'm talking about taking intelligent action even in the face of danger even with the possibility of risk or failure do something the alternative is to stay where you are doing the same things you've been doing saying the same things you've always been saying and doing nothing my question to you is this if all you have been doing about this goal you've set for yourself to achieve this year if all that you've been doing since January of this year has been analyzing praying fasting and not taking any form of action where do you think that you will be by the end of this year I remember having a conversation with someone earlier today 
and this was someone I was trying to get to take some form of action and they kept coming up with excuses after excuses why they wouldn't do this why they wouldn't do that and I asked them a simple question I said you are still young if you continue to live your life the way you're living it right now where do you think that you will end up in the next five years and this person just kept quiet you know what they said they said actually I am not even doing anything right now because of this because of that I said your excuses are sound but the point is you are not taking any form of action whatsoever to better your life now if you continue along this path of doing nothing where do you think your life will be in the next five years and that is the question I'm asking you my dear listeners where do you think that you will be if all you specialize in is that of analysis they say too much analysis can lead to paralysis don't end up in paralysis take intelligent action sit down weigh your actions like the lepers did find out which ones have the possibility or the probability of of getting you the results that you desire and as you do that god will help you sometimes the the action that you will take will be based on the in fact you know what sometimes there are individuals who have clearly been instructed as to what they should do either through revelation or through um, counseling or through mentoring yet they are still sitting there analyzing and analyzing and analyzing and what I'm saying is that it is not good enough take action so so far here are the ideas that we've discussed that will support us in achieving our goals this year the first one we talked about is to pray and to seek, God, seek God's opinion concerning that situation or those situations the second is to be aware that there's always divine help that when the chips are down God will show for you as a child of God the third idea is to learn to ask the right questions learn to ask quality questions the next the fourth idea we discuss is doing proper analysis after asking the right questions now analyze the situation within which you find yourself because by analyzing those situations you are able to know what you should do next and the fifth idea we discuss is that regardless of what the analysis has been once you are able to identify the right steps to take we're saying take action take intelligent action and that as you take those actions God will indeed help you now the last idea I'd like to share with us concerning some of the things that you can do in order to achieve your goal for this year will be to empower others learn to give learn to be a blessing don't consume everything on yourself if you go to verse 9 of that first Kings sorry second Kings 7 it says in verse 9 it says finally they said to each other this is not right this is a day of good news and we aren't sharing it with anyone if we wait until morning some calamity will certainly fall upon us come on let us go and tell the people at the palace learn to give you see whatever it is that you own whatever it is you have achieved I guarantee you that there's a lot that you can give to your environment to the people that you know as well as to the people that you don't know of that result that you've achieved and I'm not just talking about the f money I'm not talking about I'm talking about even the process while going through that process you have learned certain steps you can share that you can be a blessing to others who are struggling they feel reach out to them and show them the path that you went through they may not be able to do exactly what you've done but they may be able to learn and be encouraged by listening to your story 
don't keep it to yourself share of that story with others sometimes it might be of the fruits that you have now been able to gain from the labor of your endeavors it could be funds it could be support it could be your time it could be your experience share those things with each other don't 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 become a custodian of that idea let that idea spread somewhere in the bible in the book of corinthians says that you will comfort others with the comfort where which you were comforted yourself there i quoted from the king james version again um, but that is what the bible says that you are able to to provide comfort you're able to provide support for others you're able to encourage other people with the same encouragement that you gained when you were going through the process yourself so please regardless of what it takes please reach out to someone and when i'm talking about reaching out you don't have to wait until you've achieved your ultimate result you could hear someone going through some stuff today that you have been through or that you have been inspired to 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 overcome in the past or that you think you have an idea with sit that person down and share your ideas with them share your income with share your funds with them share your connections with them and as you do i know god will bless you i'd like to say a very very big thank you for listening to me today uh, uh, god bless you as you go into this week my prayer for you is that god will indeed meet you at the point of need once again you have been listening to perspectives on the on the prayer rallies on prz 109.2 fm and my name is emmanuel utomi you can keep up with me on facebook youtube twitter and instagram and you know what if you'd like to i uh, get previous copies of 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 the broadcast on these stations not just from perspectives but from other presenters on this program you can go to the prz fm africa sound loud account the prz fm africa sound cloud account where there you can listen to all of the broadcasts from the station and not only can you would you be able to listen to them but you would be also able to to download them and if you would like to be a part of this program if you have any questions or any concerns or comments about the topics that you've heard on this program or topics that you would like for us to to handle on this program please please you can send me an email send your emails to perspective at przfm.com that's perspectives at przfm.com or you can tweet at perspectives and like i keep saying perspective is spelled as p-a-s-p-e-k-t-i-v-e-s and if if you're more comfortable sending text message then you can send your text message to 0757-260-5435 and i would also like to encourage that look as you go into this week as you go into this week do something no matter how small do at least one thing from what you have learned today and i know that as you do them the god that rules in the affairs of men will lead you down that path of success so do have a lovely evening god bless you and thank you for joining me thank you and god bless bye bye your culture education upbringing beliefs experiences imagination relationships personality and your values are some of the things that have not just eaten deep into your nature but they have become your very nature. When was the last time you questioned any of these things? When was the last time you questioned how you think? Join me, Emmanuel Utomi, and my guests every Monday from 9 p.m. on PRZ 109.2 FM London on Perspectives. Because how you think powers your worldviews, actions, and your ultimate reality. So, come on, let us explore alternative ways of looking at life's issues. Perspectives. What you already know should not stand in the way of what you could learn.